three ways to know she's fucking interested. Yes, I take notes. Coach Pulley, man, the muscle architect, let's grow, man. Love you if you love yourself, you know I really do. This dating shit is taking over and I'm loving it more than fitness. If you want dating coaching or fitness coaching, go to my Instagram, comment the words first day for dating and shred for fitness. Links will be in the description for Instagram and website to subscribe to my newsletter. Put your information in there. Subscribe for free information five days a week on diet, training, fitness, dating. So let's get into the video. Like, comment, share, man. Three ways to know that she's interested. Plus, I'm going to drop a bonus tip, so stay till the end. And so I know many men that are wasting time with uninterested women and I don't want this to be you. It's a horrible place to be in. And when I have girls that are uninterested, other dating coaches who say drop them, they're all egotistical and talking shit out their fucking ass. I don't drop them. I just get refocused on the right ones in my business and then I fucking lead funnel back to them. Make sure they're following me and watching my Instagram stories of DHV demonstrating high value and showing who I am with my questions or people all over the world are asking me questions. If they don't have Instagram, I will reach out and refunnel them if they come to mind. I'm not focused on them, but if I go through my hiddens on, on Hinge or I see them pop up or any way that their numbers, if I've scrolled back down through text, for whatever reason they pop up, I will revisit the subject. Right now, I have a date on Friday with a girl that I, has flaked on me three times. Most people would say, don't go back. Now, as I'm lead funneling and going through Monday for Friday dates and on Hinge and I'm scrolling back to see a text from a client or a date and I see her number from her flaking on me just last week was a re-reach out that Friday was raining. She didn't flake this time. She was like, no, it's raining, blah, blah, blah. Didn't answer me, left me on red. So her texts were recent. So I went, saw her name and said, Friday night drinks. No energy, no effort, no video like I like to do. This girl's flaked on me again three times. Friday night drinks. Drinks Friday. Can you handle that? Boom. Answer with a voice message. Yes, I'm all yours this weekend on Friday. Now, other dating coaches would argue that this is going to be a low value. You're on a waste of time. I argue differently. Watch what I do with this one. Watch me get her from low interest to high interest. Sometimes when you're dealing with top notch 10 chicks, they have a lot of options. Every girl has options. Never mind fucking tens. So, me and my buddy Jake have been talking about understanding persistence. Now, I don't waste my time with low interest. I'm not putting time into it. But I revisit them because I understand the ones that I really want, the hot 10 out of 10. Sometimes you have to be persistent until you create them as high interest. They might be low interest to start because they have so many options. They're dwindling through. Can you blame them? You're able to get them on a date. And they don't turn to high interest on the date. And they're low interest and they're not really feeling it. And they're not fucking on the first date or at least making out and doing their best to avoid fucking for their own sake of clarity to make them feel like they're good girls. But if they're not into you like that, then get rid of them. Then never text them again. Because if you can't figure it out when you actually get the baddie in person, then you're never going to get it. But to revisit text, the two-second text, you're losing nothing, a phone call. The girl that flaked on me last week, I called her again this week twice. Doesn't hurt because I get these girls to come back sometimes. They're just in the Rolodex. Will I keep going back? No. Um, I don't want to give you guys misleading advice, but I'm saying if you want to text a girl that was in the funnel or set up a date and flaked on you or low interest, get ahead. But then move on and don't make that your main focus waiting on her answer. I want you to forget about it and then bam, she answers. Whoa, fuck, there she is. Okay, so now off on the tangent, but let's get into it. I'm going to break down these three steps and I don't want to make it too long because then you guys lose me. Step one, she doesn't make herself available to you in 48 hours and she's got to go. Again, I just explained the story where we can still revisit, but a girl that wants you, match on the dating app, meet in person, wherever. If she doesn't set up a date in 48 hours, you're not important, bro. Now. If it's Sunday, you're both busy during the week, and we're stretching to the weekend, because I do this a lot, because I'm very busy during the week. I am, and I choose not to go on dates, unless I feel it's the only way I'm gonna keep her tight in the mix, I will fucking, you know, do a, a weekday date, and I feel like this girl's so busy, and she's busy over the weekend, she's only available on Tuesday, and or the following weekend, I'm not gonna wait till the following weekend. If she's a baddie, fucking smoke show, then I'll see her on Tuesday night. Fuck her, move my clients over, and see her at five o'clock, and handle that. So, with that being said, if she doesn't make herself available in 48 hours, by that, I mean, in that week, she doesn't say, I'm only off on Friday, and it's yours, 48 hours, it's low interest and most likely gonna be a waste of your time. She says, okay, maybe the following week, I'm really busy this week. I mean, she has 100 dates, she thinks you're kinda cute, maybe you could be something for the future. Follow my Instagram and validate me all day. Maybe, okay? 
maybe you'll get lucky. But forget about her. If she comes back to you, she comes back to you. Demonstrate high value on Instagram. Show you the fucking man. Keep her in a roll depth. Now, you got no dates in three weeks. Other coaches would never recommend this. And you remember her for a spike with thought. Something you saw a blonde girl on the street. She was blonde. Hit her with a fucking voice memo, whatever. Boom. Don't waste your time on a girl of interest is going to make herself available on the day she's available. I say 48 hours. Um, how I'll conduct a uh, Sunday. Like, it's Sunday, Monday. I'm setting up my dates for the week. Hey, I'm available Wednesday, Friday. I prefer Friday, but if you're going to do week dates, boom, boom, boom. I give two dates, never back-to-back -back dates. And if she's not available on either of those days, you know, I'm busy during the week, but Friday's yours. My weekend is crazy busy. I actually work weekends, boom, 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 but I got you Wednesday. I'm not really available either of those fucking days, but you're beat. Your beat. Remember, keep her in the back of your mind. Get her to follow you on Instagram. On to the next. Number two, responding late and short. More than anything, late. Some girls are short up until the date. I kind of like that. It makes my job easier. If I gotta fucking entertain you from Monday, from Sunday to our date on Friday, I'm most likely gonna fuck up. It's like Jordan, right? He only needs two points to win the game. He's not gonna shoot a three. And the same to two. Jordan's a sick fuck. He might have still took the three, but you know what I mean. You don't want to text all day. You got the date. Boom. Set it up. Only gonna fuck it up. So sometimes I do like that from a woman, but a girl that's really interested, again, the one I'm talking about right here, we set the date on Monday, firm yesterday on Wednesday, yeah, anything you need from now to then, you know, I'm gonna handle everything, I'm gonna have you call up off this way, boom, we ready to talk about when and where you gotta be, I'm gonna text you again to check in on Friday, and I'll see you Friday, I said so, I was like, I'll see you Friday, finally, because you took forever. That's it, a video message Wednesday, I send her a short text tomorrow, and then I'll be with her tomorrow night. Monday, we set the date. Wednesday, show the text. Friday. Now, if she wants to be validated in the text all week, you have to validate that, right? So up until you meet them, texting can be short. Like I'm saying with this girl, it's short. Technically, this girl will be considered low interest because of the stuff I went through with her. But some girls like this can be short. But outside of that, for the most part, nine out of 10 times, a girl's high interest is going to text a lot, want to be validated all the way up until the date. Otherwise, someone else will validate them. They're not that busy. Girls are on the phone 24 seven, someone else will do it and they will forget about you. I'm not with these go, go ghost on girls. If a girl allows you to do that, most likely low interest, but do it. Keep it kind of mysterious up until the date. If they're gonna wanna be validated and they should be responding quick, not this four, five, six hour shit, okay? That should be you. And then, hey, sorry, I've been busy. Hit it with a video message. She tells you where she is. Oh my God, da da da. But she should be responding quick and asking questions. A girl that's interested is going to be asking questions. She's going to ask questions up until the date. And I always restrain. And I try to set the format of those are first date questions, baby. Just keep it short. You know, I got to rem remain mysterious. But she should be fighting you back on that and wanting to ask questions. Not short and sweet and responding fast. Four, five, six, eight, 10, 12 hours. I'm not like these other guys. I'm going to tell you, forget about it. Put your focus somewhere else. Because even if she shows up on that date, she's probably going to be low interest. And you're going to have to put your focus somewhere else after. Focus somewhere else. Don't replace it. Keep that Friday night date. But have another one set up in case she flakes. If it's short and slow response, have another date ready. I book four dates for tomorrow night. Okay, two of ready flake. I still have two, which if this girl actually shows up by 12, I'm gonna move them to Saturday. That should be your strategy, that they're gonna flake, especially with a low interest. Now, if I was on FaceTime with her Wednesday, she already texted me today on Thursday, then I wouldn't have booked any other dates, but it's low interest then. All she said back to me was yesterday when I sent the video message to set up, making sure you're good, anything you need for Friday, it was a fucking short. Um, yeah, we're still on for Friday. High quality, we're still on for Friday. Cute, I like it, because it's not making me Thanks all day when I'm working, but it's low interest. So that being said, responding late and short, fucking get your ducks in a row, have everything ready to go in case she plays, because she's probably gonna, if she shows, if you can't flip around person, she's gonna be a goner. So be ready, have the other dates in case she flakes, and have your other dates for the weekend set up, because this is not gonna be your main chick, most likely. That doesn't mean don't be positive, going through the date confident, looking her in the fucking eyes and handling business, but be ready to replace, because you need a main chick. We want a main chick, okay? and we want a good girl. So you're gonna be ready to replace and set up dates for the next week and the rest of the weekend and potentials in case she doesn't show up to replace on Friday. You should put two girls in the back burner too, outside of those two, be like, hey, Saturday's probably best, but Friday, my reservation, my client is coming into town. He may get on the flight late, he may not be here till 11 o'clock. So if you're around Friday too, I might hit you up around four or five in the afternoon because I really want to see you, but I have a client dinner is coming in from the Netherlands and shit like that. These are real things that I do, so. I use that for Friday, so I have two girls on standby as well. If homegirl can maintain eye contact with you, she's gotta go. A girl that likes you is nervous. Girl I've been working out in the gym, she's kinda denying my, my texting dates because 
she's a little bit nervous and shy around me. I had to bring it, I didn't have to, but I chose to bring it to text because we don't see each other that often in our next workout. She was like, I'll let you know I'm gonna work out next. So I kind of just hit her up. She replied on one of my stories of what I drank, tequila, vodka. My stories are always traps to get them in. And I got her in because we were talking about tequila and vodka. And I was like, well, when are we, you know, tequila, actually I drink vodka. Oh my God, I'm surprised you talk about putting tequila in me, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, yeah, well, you don't really know what I drink, so let me show you. I'll see you three o'clock. Boom, I can't come today. All right, we'll do it this day. I'll tell you when and where. You let me know when you're free. Boom, the whole spiel. She kind of got nervous, just liked it, didn't answer. Go to the gym, awkward territory, have to be careful in there. Boom, so now she sees me. Even before that shy, no eye contact, wave. That's how a girl that likes you should be. That don't mean she don't like me just because she didn't want to go on the date. She's nervous. Somebody from the gym where she goes and frequents. She has a million options. Why does she want to frequent somewhere she goes every day? Most girls don't want to do that. I still will win her over because I'm Coach Buck and Pauly. But it's going to take time. It's a long game, especially in the gym. Especially not just because I go to the gym a lot. I work at the gym. So I live there. It's not just goes there a lot. She sees me once a week. Anytime she goes, she sees me. So she's going to be careful with that. I'm okay with that. With that being said, she can't make eye contact very nervous. And any girl that can has to go. Now, for your bonus tip, when you're going up to approach a girl and or first date, open body language, inviting you in. If she's turned off to the side, closed, you know she's got to go. She should be open to you. And if you go up to her, She's open, but nervous, a little turned off. That's okay, but that should change within 30 seconds because of her enticing nature of you. She should reopen up to you, and then it should be an open conversation. Think about it, man. Anything you want, you're going to be open, so you're not going to be closed. Closed body language is huge, guys. Be careful. Just look out for this. If you're on a first date, arms are closed the whole time, and she never opens up to you. It's not because she's nervous. She's looking you in your eyes with closed body language, you're fucked, bro. Get her the Uber now because fucking looking at you, not nervous, and then fucking closed off to you the whole time. She should be not able to look at you, looking away, turn to the side at the beginning, then open up to you, open, but still like looking away, well, opened up to you. Closed body language, that's your bonus tip. Guys, I hope you really learned. Let me break it down in chronological order. Three ways to know she's interested in you. Number one, she doesn't make herself available within 48 hours, she's gotta go. Responding late and short, girls should respond fast, they live on their fucking phones, and they should be asking you questions even up until the date. You should be the one trying to restrain too much texting because you're the busy man and you wanna remain serious up until the date. Number three, she can maintain eye contact. A girl should not be able to maintain eye contact in any which way and should be nervous around you. Bonus tip, closed body language is not open for discussion. Open body language, closed like percussion. I just made that up. Doesn't make sense, but that's this YouTube channel because I'm crazy and I'm Coach Foley and I'm the muscle architect. So, again, pay late, keep her amazed. Like, comment, share the video. This helped at all. Let me know in the comments. Show love. We're growing together. Everything about me. I'm sharing my life with you guys. The muscle architect, baby. Coach Foley. Pay late, keep her amazed. Stay blazed. I love you if you love yourself. You know I really do. Muscle architect, baby. Like, comment, share the video. Go to the link in the description. Check peep the Instagram. The worst first date for dating. The worst shred for fitness. Holla at me. Instagram. Go to the newsletter. Click the link in the description. Go to the website. Subscribe to my newsletter. Let's get on Instagram and holla and see me daily for daily tips. I love you, baby. Ah!